Hello chaps. So today I am back with some sort of different approach to tell you how you can score in J Main 2018 exam 100 minimum marks. That is a bottom line. So few of you may ask a question why only 100? Why not 120? Because the total paper is for 120. Issue is here I am going to tell you some tips, here I am going to explain you something which is really magical so that minimum 100 you can score. So what exactly the positive aspect? Minimum 100 in physics, minimum 100 in chemistry and mathematics. That way you can minimum score 300 marks out of 360 and 300 means you are going to score a rank between 100 to 200. Fine. So, this is the bottom line. Above that, sky is the limit and it's up to your abilities. So, let's discuss these things. Now, what are the important dates for your exams? Obviously, few of you may apply it, or maximum of you may have applied for 8th April, that is offline pen paper exam. And many of you may be applied for 15th and 16th, this CBT or online mode. Fine. Now, important aspect is there is no weightage for 12th board marks for rank calculation only. So, be careful only for rank calculation, no weightage for boards exam. But next point is utmost important. But to report for counseling and admission for Indian Institute of Technology, for National Institute of Technology or for triple IITs, minimum 75 percent marks essential so please be careful try to score maximum marks in your board exams fine so over here this is a very important aspect that's why i mentioned initially now it's j main pattern see this j main pattern started 2013 onwards Whatever I am going to explain you, how you can score minimum 100 marks, minimum 100 marks in any uh, difficult situation even. So, in last few years, the pattern remains same. 30 questions in physics with 4 marks for each correct response and minus 1 for each incorrect response. Fine. So, be very, very careful while marking your responses. Okay. Then, Natural question comes in mind how to score minimum 100. The calculation is simple. Out of 30, attempt only 25 but all 25 correct. And how you can ensure 25 correct? That I am going to show you. Fine. So, out of 30 questions, if you analyze, then around 14 to 15 easy questions means 50 percent paper is for easy segment okay work hard so this 14 15 is going to be simple for you to score nice then 8 to 9 moderate question 8 to 9 moderate means if you are in a position to recall the basic concepts and formulae easily you can answer this question so minimum is let's say 14 and 8 that is going to be 21 or 22 marks fine now out of 8 to 6 difficult questions if you attempted only three questions or let's say four questions, three or four, just 50 percent in difficult segment, it's going to be, fifth, this uh, marks going to be 25. So, multiply 25 by 400. Remaining, you not attempted any wrong answer. See, the problem is, let's say you attempted 29, five incorrect, remain incorrect. You are going to lose marks from your side. 29, 5 incorrect means you are going to get marks 24 into 4, 96, minus 5, so it is going to be 91. So, be very careful. If you move with the plan, with the strategy that I am explaining, then very easily you can ensure 24, 25 minimum, bottom line minimum correct answers. Fine. Then, it is difficulty analysis. Here, I am trying to prove my point by means of taking the help of these statistics based upon the previous exam. So, over here, easy around 45 percent 
and moderate around 34 percent roughly it's going to be like uh, around 75 to 80 percent so if you uh, are able to explain to solve these much questions from this blue segment fine and from this green segment very easily you can ensure this 100 mark cut fine then difficulty is 21 percent difficult segment Say for example, you only able to pick up only one or two correct options from there. That is going to be added advantage. You are bound to cross 100 plus. Fine. Now over here, detailed analysis of J mains exam since its inception year 2013 onwards. Fine. So year 2014, 15, 16, 17. Here I am trying to prove that in last these 30 days coming 30 days where you should emphasize more so for example this one is electrodynamics heat and thermodynamics mechanics modern physics optics shm and waves these are the maximum chunk covering portions so maximum portions if you just analyze then you can easily find out the weightage of these things fine so over here one more simple explanation what should be your approach approach for ensuring 25 correct answer to ensure 100 at least whatever i'm explaining by opting that technique you minimum you can score these 100 marks electrodynamic just take a look electrodynamics year 2017 8 questions then mechanics 8 question heat and thermodynamics 4 question so just by picking these three branches you cross 20 every year you can take up like this fine my point is in last these days you just try to emphasize obviously you must have completed the uh, study and uh, discussion of each and every topic but here you are ensuring that by putting maximum emphasis by putting the accelerator for electrodynamics mechanics heat and thermodynamics and modern physics you are bound to cross correct 24 25 questions fine and few just one or two more correct options you are bound to cross the limit of this 100 marks fine so over here i only ap uh, applied this logic on the basis of the number of questions explained fine now approach in last 30 days because students now you have last 30 days and if you plan your approach if you plan your strategy the way we are explaining you then in these 30 days you can create a lot of impact in terms of your marks those you are going to score so be positive for these things see in last 30 days the first thing previous year's question paper every day ensure that at least one question paper you are solving even if you completed the solution of last year J uh, mains exams, go for A, I, triple E question papers. Because if you are solving so many questions, it means you are polishing your skills. You are developing a habit in your mind how to quickly pick and solve the problems. Fine. Then formulae and shortcuts. Obviously, every student is following this method. But here I am just emphasizing that keep revising because ultimately, you are getting the success or not that something depends upon the revision of formulae and shortcuts fine and if you have watched our videos there in during the discussion of uh, the topic i always used we always used to explain these shortcuts time management is utmost important if you are wasting your time on one or two questions then you are compromising with your success so don't do that you have the leverage you have the option that at least with four or five questions you can play as per your wish because ultimately once you ensure 25 into 3 25 physics 25 chemistry 25 mathematics you are bound to get a rank maybe sometimes within 100 or two digit all india rank imagine the power of this technique then eliminating wrong wrong answers so sometimes this technique is also very useful right now due to time constraint i cannot explain with the help of a question but sometimes if you read the question carefully very easily you can say option a no not possible c oh it's not possible so only two options you have you can work upon that so easily quickly you can get the answer
fine now try easiest question first now this is something that is very objective approach but this is the approach which pays a lot during my uh, preparation for IIT then after completing my courses from IIT Delhi I normally used to apply this method that initially pick up easiest question so what will happen let us say in 25 minutes you can complete the discussion of certain important questions so that number in hands will give you lot of power fine over here tips to remember these are few simple tips always emphasize the knowledge from ncrt books because they are going to be the main priority because this question paper is designed by ncrt mind cbsc board itself and take test on regular basis there is no alternative for this regular basis test taking process then positive points for examination hall students that is so essential you are well prepared your strategy is in your mind perfectly but if in examination hall you fail to implement that you are going to suffer a lot so positive points uh, for examination hall read question carefully and mark in omr with 200 percent surety if you are attempting this pen paper exam or even if you are attempting your computer based exam never do guesswork keep calm negative marking no guesswork fine and calm means if some questions are difficult don't lose your heart okay we can do feel good all is well all is well type of approach okay now never allocate time as one hour for each subject let's say you completed chemistry in 45 minutes move for mathematics move for physics so the approach should be like this fine then at the end i'll only say be positive and best of luck that is be positive means again all is well that will give you a lot of power and best of luck from our side if you follow these tips obviously you are bound to score this much minimum marks so finally thanks a lot for watching this strategy video